Hello friends, my name is Christina and I'm a cookie dough small. We're so happy to share our journey together and none of you know but she is a rescued bunny and we adopted her back in October 2022. Uh, she's super energetic and lovable. She's doing pinky zoomies all day long, well not all day long, in the morning mostly. Um, and we live like in California about two hours away from the ocean and yesterday we actually had a trip um, our second trip with the cookie dough and a few other people to the ocean this time I was even more prepared for this trip and I'll show you what I did or what I prepared to go with her that way no emergencies would happen and we would be fine for the most of the time I take with me a critical care with a syringe in case she gets too stressed and her gut stops I mix it with a glass uh, in glass container. I do one scoop of mix, then and water. I make it more watery for her to stay hydrated. Carrier. It has removable hard top, so I wrap it in the pee pad, and I bring more of the pee pads with me. Usually, I would need to change it once for a one day trip. Then we move to the uh, collapsible dishes for water and pallets. I measured about a cup of pallets and put it in a Ziploc bag. Pain medication and wound care spray. Uh, pain medication is good whenever she has chiastasis or broken nail, anything that causes her pain. Um, and like wound care, good like for any broken nails or chips or anything that's wrong with her body that way i can sanitize it and she will be good treats this time i brought sun salad and she goes crazy over that bag blanket and the last one is a litter box litter box is the really important because it's special for cookie dough she doesn't like anything but her litter box, so the one that I bought for her on Amazon that has a zipper around uh, from spills doesn't really excite her. Last time I got it and she didn't really like that, didn't enjoy it. So this time I brought uh, the regular one and she loved it and actually used it. I usually put a little bit of bedding and a little bit uh, hay on the side. And uh, whenever I bring her anywhere else outside of house, I just wrap it in a trash bag and put it with me in a car. And that's the only way it's gonna go. Uh, so we packed all our stuff in a car. We put the bunny and we started driving. I think after 30 minutes, she finally started feeling okay-ish in the car. It was not her first time driving a car, but still, it's always stressful no matter what. But she's a more adventurous rabbit than other rabbits that I knew. So with her, it's easier. She is love adventures. So after 30 minutes, she was fine, um, mostly. So after we got uh, to the beach, it was like about two hours later after we left. Uh, she finally released her pee. I know it sounds disgusting, but it's actually how it is. She released the uh, pee on a pee pad, which is good. That's why it's there. I quickly changed it. Uh, so we parked and she was fine. I let her roam around the trunk and just uh, set up the litter box, water, uh, pellets and she was fine just looking around sniffing everything and getting familiar familiar more with the environment so I just let her be there in the trunk after that we decided to go to look um, at the ocean I packed her in a carrier again and brought it with us it was fun it was sunny it was actually windy, super windy, and it was kind of cold still, but it was still beautiful, not a lot of people around. It was actually in the campground, that's where we stopped. Um, it was beautiful, 
I kind of tried to let her out, but she wouldn't do anything like that. And she, I guess, was scared of wind. It's kind of scary for her and kind of a little cold. So after probably 15 minutes, we um, got back to the car and started cooking. So we cooked a um, few steaks, bell peppers with the onion and topped it with the avocado and it was super nice. My sister and my husband enjoyed the time together um, and from time to time I would just check on the cookie dough, see how she is doing and she was fine most of the time. I would give her head rubs, just see how she is doing um, and we just uh, after cleaning up, we just returned to the car. Then after like in a few minutes, we decided to see the sunset. So this time I just like put the jacket around the carrier and we went to the beach. I let her go, see if she's gonna still go or she getting better or she's getting, I don't know, more scared or anything. And she poked her nose around do, did one circle around the carrier um, and then just went back to the carrier. <laughs> that's okay. Um, I understand that's her f first time actually experiencing the beach and just walking on the beach. First time we didn't do and we stayed um, mostly in the, in the car or just uh, let her in the trunk and it was not as windy of course but this time it was windy, so I picked her up from the carrier, wrapped her in a warm jacket and just I was holding her like that, that way she feels warm and safe. And my sister took a few pictures and it was so wonderful and I, we really enjoyed the sunset, it was beautiful. It was a magical moment with her in, the, in my hands and just snuggling with her, with her a little bit. She wasn't really like... Uh, into it, but just for a few minutes, it was fine. We came back to the car and just started driving back, and on the way back, um, she relaxed fully. She was so done with that day. She um, she didn't feel like she was threatened by anything. She already fi felt relaxed. She was fine with us. And um, me and my husband, we just put her between front seats. Um, and she just was there. Um, like the whole time, just all oh, for the most of most of the time of the drive back and she was just relaxed being a loaf and it was wonderful I liked traveling with the bunny for one trip like one day trip is it fine I am happy that you stayed for the rest of the video please subscribe on the Instagram the link is below and please subscribe and ring the bell for the YouTube videos um, Please comment below if you like the video, what you like the most, and what would you like to know in the next video about Cookie Dough and her lifestyle. Uh, of course, the Instagram link will be uh, below in the subscription. And I also included the links uh, down below what items I brought with me in the trip for Cookie Dough. Thank you. Bye.